Did the lieutenant governor play favorites when she hired a campaign donor who was also the husband of a friend? The hired then fired individual worked as the director of the Office of Unemployment Insurance. LEX 18's Lee Searcy has the story. When Governor Andy Bashir was on the campaign trail with Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman, he vowed to make Frankfurt more transparent. That was one of his priorities. Now the Lieutenant Governor is under fire for hiring her friend's husband for a state job. According to this article by the Kentucky Center for Investigative Reporting, Coleman hired Bardstown attorney Muncie McNamara as executive director of the Office of Unemployment Insurance with no experience with unemployment systems or state government before taking the job. We all know what happened when COVID-19 hit. Thousands and thousands of Kentuckians were laid off from their jobs and went weeks and months without receiving their unemployment. Some are still waiting for their checks. For days, hundreds waited in long lines in Frankfurt trying to get their money. In the article, it states McNamara got the $85,000 a year job and was paid $15,000 more than his predecessor. The Kentucky Center for Investigative Reporting wrote that McNamara's wife considered Coleman a good friend, according to an interview with the Kentucky Standard newspaper. Today, the Republican Party of Kentucky called on Bashir and Coleman to do some explaining. There's no question that it's time for the Bashir administration to stop hiding uh, from the public and the press. Uh, these are serious questions. As reported, McNamara was fired after four months. We reached out to Lieutenant Governor Coleman and McNamara for comment, but neither returned our calls. Today, Governor Bashir briefly addressed the issue during his daily press conference. Uh, now, it didn't work out and it got very, very messy. In the end, I think it got very emotional in the end. Uh, aside from that, I don't have firsthand knowledge of any of the rest uh, of it. In Frankfurt, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.